Just who it is, Astoria Cricket, and what would she want with your frame? She's a fourth-year troublemaker, that's who. She and her band of hoodlums discuss all sorts of misdeeds right under my nose, and then resent me for overhearing them. I can only assume they took my frame in some misguided attempt to punish me for doing my job. I could look into the matter for you. Oh, would you? How marvellous. Do it quickly, though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Off you go, then. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? But breaking into Alfred Lawley's home wasn't the brightest idea. Astoria Cricket? That depends. Am I in trouble? Ferdinand Pratt thinks you should be. Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocated's more like it. How do I put this nicely? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil, and he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. Surely he can't be that terrible, can he? All he does is spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. I spent four hours in detention last week, all because he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. It was the last straw. He and his frame had to go. May I ask where you put him? Well, I didn't put him anywhere. The frame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. They camp in a ruin by the coast. I just wanted it far enough away that I'd never have to think about Ferdinand Pratt ever again. You do know he's screaming in the library as we speak. Oh, for the love of Merlin. If you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hogshead. The pampered Pratt would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell of goats. And the patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. But what's done is done. He isn't here anymore, and if I were you, I should enjoy it. Lovely chatting with you. Folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the village. Not much of the dark arts I've always said that travel broadens the mind. <laughs> Revelio. Expelliarmus. Accio. Coward. Incendio. Bombard. Made a great mistake. who released Treadwell, aren't you? I know what you did to Ayo, and I'll not forget it. You're the one who stole our goblin helmet. 
Well, there, Goblin. Tiger! But then it was ours. Yeah. I'm not done with you! Ah! It's it's Arrest the momentum. Defend us. This looks intriguing. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Alohomora. Well, it's about time. It's a wonder there's anything left of me. Calm down, I'm here now. Calm down? Those buffoons outside have been talking about burning me! Me! If they weren't all sharing half a brain, they'd realize I'm worth more to them intact and at the three broomsticks. How is that? With everything I overhear, I'm a veritable trove of information. Now, don't just stand there. I need to be back by cocktail hour. The place will be like a funeral without me. What if I don't want to return you to the Three Broomsticks? What on earth do you mean? What if I took you to the Hog's Head instead? I've heard such nice things. Huh? What a funny little joke. Now, the Three Broomsticks, please. Oh, they're bound to be missing me terribly. Uh, be sure to carry me carefully, won't you? My pantaloons are already creased. Where have you put me? It's pitch black in here. I shan't stand for this.
I should investigate. Revelio. Normally toss the both of you out. But I like the look of the fancy man. Target practice. <laughs> <laughs> What is the meaning of this? This isn't the three broomsticks! No, it's not. It's the hog's head. Did you fall into a cauldron of stupid potion? You've brought me to the wrong place! It's absolutely vile in here! It's no three broomsticks, that's for certain. Please! You can't mean to leave me here! Please! Goodbye, Ferdinand. Enjoy your new home. I normally toss the both of you out. But I like the look of the fancy man. Target practice. Ah. Please, you can't use me as target practice anymore. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue pack. <laughs> Hello. Nice to see you again. You as well. What can I help you with? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for your patronage.
that you were able to stop by? Hello. It's good to see you, my friend. Too busy if it wasn't for you, if you ask I might still be caged up by those dreadful Ashwinders. I will never forget your bravery. Nothing warms a body. Like <laughs> I know what that means. Merlin trial. Revelio. Revelio. Rebellio. Confringo. Rebellio. Confringo. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. You made it. I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, really. Rumor was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumor, or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Rebellion. Uh. Rebellion. 
can find them. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Confringo. Lumos. Lumos. Rebellio. Rebellion. Foipers. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Foipers song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. So of whoopers, I wonder if it's being protected. Revelio, Accio. Why am I not surprised? Revelio, first the whoopers and now this. We need to find moths for those spinners. Accio. Lumos. Lumos. on the walls have something to do with finding the moths. Revelio. Revelio. Ah. 
killed. If we pull the ring the runes, I suspect we'll find the moths. Another obstacle. No. Rebellion. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Accio. Rebellion. Lumos. Lumos. Should we take a closer look? You read my mind. Even more beautiful closer. Rebellion. It's got to be here. I just know it. Confringo. Given what creepers are known to do, I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. This <laughs> is very funny. I was just thinking how the creepers creatures haven't been here. Assuming this is where the moon Rebellion. Is, which means we're one step ahead of them. We found it! It's like staring directly at the moon. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the henge. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall.
That's the henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the henge. Whatever it is, it had better have to do with Snidgets. The clock is ticking in that regard, isn't it? Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. How's your gran doing, by the way? Nothing keeps gran down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. <coughs> the moonstone goes. You're my summoner's court opponent, Professor Ronan. Indeed I am. <laughs> Professors are allowed to have fun once in a while too, you know. Of course. I look forward to playing against you. And I you. I've been playing this for eons, so you haven't the chance of winning. How about we get started anyway? I'm ready. No time like the present. Akio. I do not recall teaching you how to play like that. Akio! We all make mistakes. There you have it. Yet another opportunity to learn and improve. Akio! Akio! I've always said that travel broadens the <laughs> Professor, I'd like to play a game of Summoner's Court. I knew you'd come around. Shall we begin?
I'm ready. No time like the present. Akio! Akio! And there you have it. Yet another opportunity to learn and improve. Akio! Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Professor, I'd like to play a game of Summoner's Court. I knew you'd come around. Shall we begin? I'm ready. No time like the present. Akio! I do not recall teaching you how to play like that. Akio! No way to treat a professor. Akio. We all make mistakes. Akio. Well now. Nicely played. Delightful to see such mastery from one your age. Well done. You've beaten me at my own game. I suppose there's not much left you can teach me now. <laughs> one always has something to learn. You see, I just taught you something. As the new Summoner's Court Champion, you have earned a token of recognition. Do not let it go to your head. Yeah. I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the Keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is great news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward.
Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbor's journals. He killed Lodgok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok. Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Isadora told Bragbor about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories for someone to find? You know what she did? Her memories showed what she did for her father, which I also saw in Professor Rookwood's pensive. And a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils, whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that you witnessed. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Ravelio certainly never revealed the charm of my potion. So back when I was at school. What's brought you here today? Bye.
Nice to see you, my young friend. You're here. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's Rebellion. all because they no longer need to track the Keepers for information. This place could do with a bit of pruning. Let's look around. Expelliarmus! Confirm them! Is that a... It is! I believe I know what must be done. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? It looks like a grapphorn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a grap horn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of grap horns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. Have you ever subdued a grap horn, Professor? I have, yes. Years ago, at Stonehenge, of all places. The Ministry still owes me for that favor. It can be difficult, of course. They are massive, after all. But it's not impossible. It's my experience that many of your spells will have no real effect. You'll need to wear him down. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. I don't like the looks of that encampment. It's all about having a keen eye. This must be the place. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Rebellion! Tricky after all, Merlin. Very well, Lord of the Shore. Show yourself. Thank <laughs> you. 
Poachers. Let's see how the Lord of the Shore feels about his neighborhood being invaded. Plans must be kept. <laughs> what did I ever do to you? Where's that goblin hell? Incendia! Incendia! Oh, bring her! Defender! Bombarda! Arrest her! Incendia! Incendia! Let me also! Accusation! Incendia! 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 Incend
Rebellion. I know a man in trial when I see one. Repair her. Rebellion. The grapple is somehow the key to opening the room. Rebellion. Yeah. 